my lifestyle vlog. In this episode, I'm going to share party prep. when I updated my status um, talking about my um, in-laws 50th anniversary many of you have been asking um, to share the party preparations and luckily I shoot almost everything that I uh, did for the party so let me show you what I did if you have been following me for um, some time now you might be knowing that I, I am a big time outdoor person so I decided to uh, host the party outside in my backyard we all know how unpredictable the weather can be and i had to be prepared for that since that party week it was mostly cloudy and rainy so i was closely monitoring the weather but luckily it turned out to be a bright sunny day 50 years of marriage is a huge accomplishment i mean think about everything the couple has faced together over 50 years ups and downs, children, grandchildren, career changes, travels, and more. And to me personally, holding on to memories are important because it reminds us of the good times spent with our dear ones and near ones. Memories make us who we are. Without it, we risk a traceless presence. So it was time for me to recreate the new memories for this couple and I was really excited to celebrate their 50th anniversary. When planning a party, get the basics down first. For example, date, time, location. This will then help you to plan the theme of the party and food menu as well. Use the party planning checklist to guide you through the details. I made digital invitation card. Few things can be done ahead of time for the party. I decided to make a giant personalized anniversary card that would be a great keepsake for the couple with their 50 years of journey together pictures and cut out heart notepads for the guest to write wishes for the couple. It is so much easier to create personalized card uh, at walmart.com in their photo center. One can create beautifully crafted photo cards at Walmart and using white construction paper, I pasted two 11 by 14 pictures on each side of the construction paper and folded to uh, make it look like a card. Don't forget to have some surprises for the couple. I surprised my in-laws by inviting their their old and close friends from out of town and state. The events like this cannot be possible uh, without teamwork and I'm so lucky to have uh, so many family and friends around me who are always ready to help. When it comes to party, Dollar Tree and Amazon. These are the places I always um, look for the products um, that I need to host any kind of events. I thought of creating um, take picture with me box um, just to have some fun. Um, party to me is like people don't need to just sit. They need to enjoy the party fully. So the different activities are uh, something that I always look forward to. Fun activities. And for the parties like this, I love to turn junk into decorations. A lot of things can be repurposed including furniture and decorations. I love that there are so many things you can DIY with a can of spray paint. As you can see here, we are using uh, many junk items like crates, old pots. And I got some letters from Hobby Lobby to uh, make welcome sign. They were like under 50 cents each the letters and just painted white and made the 
welcome sign and there was a another sign welcome spring sign from the dollar tree we took out the spring and used only welcome because i needed two signs then we bought some flowers from uh, dollar tree again and um, made few you know take picture with me box items hair bands and some funny items to uh, take picture with glue gun is very helpful for this kind of projects and believe me or not but it was fun enjoying all these diys i was also able to use some real plants around the stage and in the garden i thought of poking some fake flowers with real plants I really love this uh, plant but there's no flowering on this plant so I used bright pink color or a tree throwing a party on a budget is always incredibly important to avoid overspending I have often found an incredibly successful party or get-together is almost never dependent on thing like the most expensive food or the nicest silverware it genuinely always seems to come down to the right mix of people the perfect music and a few intangibles like arranging the furniture in a way that's super conducive to socializing and mingling how cute this looks take picture with me in box that can include like a flower band some crowns this were actually made for my in-laws and some other fun items boys were very helpful for their grandparents party again junk item i had to fix this swing and secure the canopy with a window shade outdoor window shade got it from home depot under 25 dollars and as you can see secured with zip ties and finally the swing was usable i just used the table cloth to cover the rotten cushions since i'm so much into photography i thought of party backdrops i bought two party backdrops from amazon one with cherry blossom and the other one i got taj mahal and believe me or not it was so much fun to take pictures with these backdrops I thought of preparing um, some uh, welcome drinks, appetizers, um, desserts at home and uh, thought of uh, um, you know like catering the main course from the restaurant and uh, that was a good decision that I made because um, we ended up having more people than, than we wanted to actually invite uh, in the first place. So um, for the main course we had a complete uh, like a you know Punjabi menu like all the curries and naan um, so the food is the centerpiece of any occasion so I always prefer to um, to offer a variety of uh, food items uh, for children for adults for uh, seniors so it's like thinking about almost everybody that coming um, to the party I prefer to make uh, labels for uh, food items and it's so much easier to prepare labels at home um, using just construction paper and I thought of going for kind of a gold color because it was 50th anniversary after all make ahead recipes help make better choices for the parties like this here I am making mouth freshener at home um, this item is actually very popular so I love to prepare 
every time I host the party. And this kind of mouth freshener can be prepared even a week ahead and then just store at room temperature. So the recipe is like this, takes very little time and it you know, impresses your guest really well. So be sure to focus on the food items that will please your crowd. Appetizers like salsa can be prepared a couple of days ahead. And since it's Bauna's Kitchen, my guests always expect something new from the party. So this time I thought of making creamy mango based fruit salad. Mr. Gill helped me to make the stage and later I was going to use this as my yoga deck. And for this special occasion, I thought of making two heart shapes browning cake. I'm not impressed with regular cake anymore. I wanted something different like a chocolatey. So I used all kinds of real good stuff to prepare yummy chocolate brownie cake Now I wanted to keep very minimal work for the day of uh, party but uh, I literally ended up having a lot of work so uh, thankfully I have so many friends that are always uh, ready to help me around with uh, anything I need help for. And the reason basically is that uh, I always prefer to use a lot of fresh ingredients and uh, uh, particularly for the welcome drinks I want it very refreshing uh, flavor in all the drinks that I I was going to prepare um, and there are other few things that you cannot do ahead of time like balloons I mean you can do day ahead but not more than that otherwise they may go flat so uh, there are a few things that uh, you have to count your time for uh, the same day of party as well 
I could say that uh, parties like this requires a lot of work but if you have the right people around you it's so much uh, funful and um, trust me it's uh, like a you know mind refreshing moments that you get to enjoy at the end I love the idea of sharing old memories using the projector so I borrowed the projector from uh, uh, my husband's work. The parties like this actually takes a lot of thought and planning even when it might feel as though the party has a life of its own. I have noticed that everything from music to lighting to furniture arrangement can either help elevate or diminish a good party vibe. And uh, I always love to have good, you know, like a great spiritual vibes around the party as well. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram pinars bonus kitchen is everywhere you can also watch me on a big tv screen using roku and also don't forget to download bonus kitchen apps for free on many many devices like ios android windows and more thanks for watching and see you soon